Well, the last newscast for Margaret is the end of an era here at WDSU. She has been on air with us since 1979. All right. In fact, get this. Wilford Roberts says you interviewed him on your first assignment, the one where you got rained on. That's oh. him, where he said your hair got all messed up that you talk about. Right. <laughs> That's a picture of this moment. Listen, y'all, to have this kind of longevity in a career means that you're beyond popular. Margaret Orr certainly is an icon. A big announcement that's bittersweet here at WDSU. It is official. Margaret Orr, after 45 years, is riding off into the sunset, officially retiring. Yeah. The news sent shockwaves through the community. Thousands of comments, hundreds of shares on social media in a matter of minutes. Some taking the news like a death in the family. No, it's not Margaret Jesus! That's because it's a tremendous loss from our airwaves. Beyond the forecasting, Margaret Orr has given us so much. From her signature sayings. I've got strawberries at my house. To her larger than life personality. Nas is on stage and the crowds are loving him. We're at Congo Square passing a good time. It transmits through the screen. It reaches out and grabs people and they feel it and they know it and they love her for it. Even before social media, Margaret Orr has always been trending. The best addition to the breakfast edition, she boarded a Viking ship and navigated a career for four and a half decades. I always see Margaret and I'm like, who is this lady on TV? Eric Irby was a fan before moving to New Orleans. During the red dress run, he dressed as our favorite redhead. When you're in the wig, you kind of take on the personality of Margaret Orr. She's the coolest. A Margaret Orr inspired dance troupe, part of the Weather Girls, who say Margaret is always a ray of light. Every time we've met her, she's always kind of made us feel like the stars. And many across the city light the Margaret Orr candle for sunny skies. To kind of, you know, manifest good weather for parades and weddings. So the power of Margaret goes far beyond WDFU. It was a customer demand at Flirty Girl. And she's kind of like the Dolly Parton of New Orleans. There is no one that doesn't love Margaret. We love her watching her on TV. And then to meet her in person, it's like, she loves me back. You know, we love you. Happy Mardi Gras. You look beautiful. A fixture on the parade route, Margaret can always be seen dancing in the streets. Her face immortalized on a Mardi Gras float with those piercing blue eyes and signature red hair. Even the King of Carnival had to salute this honorary muse, riding in the big high heel shoe and leaving big shoes to fill. She's on Twitter, she's talking to people, she reached out to us, she came to our lineup. Every Zulu witch doctor has to come and see the chief before Fat Tuesday. Well, she makes sure that the witch doctor is putting out perfect weather on Mardi Gras Day. So how y'all doing? Uh, we're doing just half fast, Margaret. Uh, half fast, well half fast is <laughs> more fast than I fast. She loves being half fast and full heart just as popular a parade tracker as she is a storm tracker. The cotton candy lady, as sweet as can be. For Carnival, she trades in her signature style for <laughs> Chapa style. After all, she's from Uptown. Wasn't it a touchdown this weekend? She's a cheerleader for her hometown team, even showing its biggest stars a few new skills. She loves a well-tailored suit, a pastel leather jacket, and understands the power of a good dress. Margaret wears red every Friday for our troops, and she represents us all with pride. No wonder she was the perfect Halloween costume for this young fan. Here's the daily forecast. She's statuesque, but never too big to talk to the smallest viewer. You relied on her for the highs and lows, but she really won our hearts and minds. The exact cast of her influence can never be measured. Dare I say it is her weather impact that's left its mark on this place. If you're weather aware, you know Margaret urges us to get to a safe place when conditions get rough. But she's been ours for 45 years. A woman who feels the weight of a low pressure system headed this way. No matter how gusty the winds, though, Margaret Orr has never wavered on her commitment to us, to this community, and to humanity. So, in the forecast, we're wishing you scattered showers from the sprinklers in your garden. And we're not going to retire the candle, by the way. Heavy downpours of hugs and kisses from the grandkids and the pups, too. A 100% chance of travel and new adventures. To go have some fun, go see the world. No matter how hard it is for us to bid you adieu, we're wishing wherever you are, the skies are clear, blue, and 72. Mm, mm, mm.
I love you. It's beautifully written, Gina. Happy, I know. Happy retirement to you. We're going to miss you so much. Y'all are both such great writers. <laughs> I mean, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but you have something special here. Speaking of iconic status, this is legendary. Well, I, I have three. This is the one <laughs> I wore this year. And I want you to notice we do have a little bit of um, black paint on it. That's from, of course, me hugging the Zulu tramps and warriors. <laughs> Here, wait, I do have some Kleenex okay. for you. Thank you. Um, and this is going to be given to WDSU. You know, I think it needs to go in our awards cabinet. And if they dare take it out, I'm going to come and get it back. <laughs> oh, Damon came in. I loved it. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Mwah. I love y'all. OK, so I have been surrounded by love. And I've got to say, it's pretty amazing. Um, I love you all. I know I'm not saying goodbye right now because I can't. Will you hold this for me? It would be an honor to hold it. <laughs> and Lauren, thank you for continuing to sell the candle at Flirty Girl. I am honored. No, I don't get any profit from it at all. I'm just honored that you do that. And um, y'all, I love you all. I'm, I'm going to do a nice little goodbye in a little bit, but we're going to do the weather.